It's where most of us go when we need to just grab some cash. We head to the ATM. But a string of crimes, as Jim Silecki shows us, all have one connection. It's thieves ripping out these ATMs. It's tonight's burglaries and break-ins. You know, we have cameras all around the building. And these images that the cameras at McFly's picked up are a part of the case prosecutors will use against two people and possibly more for a string of ATM burglaries. You know, when things like this happen, it, it is frustrating. Jeff Lampy owns the firefighters bar. In September, the cash machine was chained up and ripped out. It ended up near 36th and L behind some industrial buildings cleaned out. Now police have two suspects in custody for a series of burglaries targeting ATM machines. They say Dustin Jones is the likely ringleader. He has already done time in prison for burglary and theft. And Jones was arrested with this woman. Pop, 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 pop. We interviewed Tabitha Victoria a year ago after her fiance Michael Graham was shot and killed. She's now facing charges as an accessory to a felony. 964. In Millard, it's safes, not ATMs that thieves are after. And Paul Gapinski's home garden true value is the latest target. Whoever broke in knew he had a safe in the office. And when they couldn't get through the front door, they broke through a window, but not the first one you see. So they had to have known that too. Paul's is at least the fourth burglary where a safe was the target of thieves in this area over the past few weeks. Boulder Creek Amusement Park was also hit over the last year. For more information, hit up our web channel. I'm Jim Sidlecki for Channel 6 News.